Aloha YouTube, this is Aqua Ninja, and today I'm actually gonna show you how to get computer UI on your Android device, as well as how Chrome is on the desktop using the Chrome browser. So as you can see, um, it kind of emulates the computer, like when you start typing it, it actually came up to the thing. And I showed you in the last video, uh, YouTube, the difference between the two. So you can see a lot of the cool benefits of having computer UI on your, on your phone. Uh, namely being like this, you can see how you have a little side panel right here that shows you extra information um, about me. You can see the pictures, you know, relevant content. You can see my Twitter, my Instagram, things like that straight from the top. So it's really cool in that regard, uh, as well as, you know, having a way bigger screen so you can see more things like um, on a phone, you would only see this little middle, the middle column, like the Dodge Dart part. Um, you'd only see that white part, like the, the Aqua Ninja info wouldn't be there and the, um, the Aqua Ninja on the right side, the black part wouldn't be there as well. So essentially you're getting way more screen real estate, which is represented by you being able to see a lot more content and, uh, and, and it's a lot of time on And I mean, at the end of the day, what you want to do. So I'm going to show you how to do this actually. Uh, Firstly, this is just YouTube in it. Firstly, you want to go to your browser um, and then click put in Pure Nexus 6P. If, well, this is depending on which device you have. Um, for any Android device, you just want to first you want to root it, which is the, the video that's going to be preceding this video. Uh, I'll have all the links in the description uh, below. But um, find out, um, I'm, I'm going to tell you how to root your device. But essentially, you want to do that first. And then you want to install a ROM on it. Now, ROMs essentially give you the added functionality of being able to do cool things with your, with your phone, such as change the themes, um, but more advanced stuff like um, being able to change the UI or the, uh, the density, the DPI, things like that. If you don't know what any of these terms mean, don't worry about it. It's basically saying you can customize anything on your device and make it do whatever you want it to do, essentially. Like literally, give me, you, you can write in the comments below what you want my, what you want my phone to do. And I'll, I'll show you that this phone can do it. It can even be things that you would only believe a computer can do. And I'll show you that, yeah, even a phone can do that. So as you can see right here, you go to downloads and change log. If you have a 6P or a Nexus device and you would just click ROM builds, it'll bring you to a separate screen where you can have, uh, you got an Android file host, which will actually be able to show you all the things. Now, all of these things right here, you just see like random things. If, you, if you're not aware about um, ROMs and stuff, basically these are dates. So you just look at the last, Four numbers. You see how it says 11, 21, 1201, 1209. Well, they're, they're obviously dates. So this December 9th, December 19th, whatever. You want to go to the latest one. So for me, I would pick uh, 0203, uh, which is February 3rd. That means that's the February 3rd edition of that, that, that ROM, that build. Um, so you want to always get the latest one because obviously just like anything else, you want to get the latest updates and things like that. After you get set update, you're gonna be at um, you're gonna be able to, to change certain things. Now that ROM for me is already installed, so I'll show you uh, a couple of uh, key benefits you would get that with that. So as you can see, you got Pure Nexus right here. You can you know donate to them. This is all of the people that contributed to that. Um, but as you can see, this on this right uh, left panel right here, you got these things called Tool and Info. You want to click onto that, and you can see this little extra menu pops up. Go to Build Prop Editor. Now, Build Prop Editor, for people that don't know, it um, is that's why it says Super User. Uh, essentially, it's for root, uh, rooted devices. It allows you to be able to change things on the fly. You can actually download this app separately. Um, just go into the Play Store, and it's called Build Prop uh, Editor, I think. And you can change just about anything in your phone. Now, all these terms, and unless you're a coder like me, should be pretty foreign to you. But you want to go to the search bar, and you want to type in LCD. That essentially stands for the the DPI of your phone. How how dense are the pixels in your device? Uh, I'm gonna give you a really good run through. Like this is this is like a this is like a fifty dollar consultation I'm giving it to you for free. Um, so essentially, DPI works like this. Um, for the Nexus Six P, since it's a really really high end phone, um, the DPI to match the 1440p, uh, which is 2K resolution, it has to um, accompany that with 560. So 560 is the default um, DPI or LCD in this case. 
um, which means when you have it in 560, things will be really big, nice and fluid, crisp, boom. The lower you go on that scale, the more you go into tablet and computer UI. Um, if you go to, let's say, 280, 300, that's computer UI. Like, literally, everything will be super duper duper tiny. It'll, like, most apps will treat it uh, as a computer. So, you'll see, like, a completely unique menu that you haven't seen before. And, and a lot of apps, most apps will run like that. Um, but everything will be, like, really tiny. So, you know, you have to um, adjust the settings to accompany that. Um Three, anything from the 320 to the 400 range is tablet UI, where that's what typically what I run. Um, I have I have a custom kernel running in the background as well, so that's why you can see how like some of my apps even look different than 380. Uh, I'm gonna get into a long, that's a long story on uh, programming, but you know. Um, but essentially, uh, anything between the 320 and 400 is tablet UI. So essentially, apps will run like how you see my YouTube running, where you can see uh, like more on the screen but not exactly like a ridiculous amount of stuff on the screen uh, it just helps you to, to be able to clarify things a lot easier and, and smoother and anything above 400 pretty much is just typical phone or phablet ui where you'll just see the normal amount of you know everything and pretty much how you would see it on a normal phone but to see the biggest like to see the best and like the biggest drastic change um I would say go around the, the, the tablet UI because tablet UI, especially if you have a big phone like me, like mine's 5.7 inch screen, um, it'll help you out a lot. Like as you can notice, even from my home screen, um, instead of it being the four things, like typically you would see it would be, let's say the Google Plus, the Google Maps, then it would be the 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 center console where you can see all your apps, the app drawer. Then it will be two more on the other side. So it'll be four there, but now it's seven there. So you're getting way more screen real estate, and your phone realizes this and allows you to actually be able to use that. Um, as well as things like, um, let's even see my, my Google Now. You can see that it's, it's separated into two columns now instead of one column. Um, and it'll actually say more content. Like it says, you know, people's birthdays and things like that. Where on a, a typical phone, it wouldn't have enough space to do that. So it just, it just has one column. So you do gain a lot of functionality from having um, computer UI or tablet UI. And that's why I had to show you how to just really easily get it, you know. Um, always remember, you know, comment, rate, subscribe. And yes, Samsung people, video is still coming. Um, I know you I know you peeped the new intro. It's actually going to keep changing, like, because I'm, I'm trying to work on the frames, like, to get it to be, like, an exact, uh, like, science to it. But, um... I can pretty much AFI anything at this point where I can like where it has like the Aqua engine. It's like a picture inside of it. It's pretty hard to do it. In, like it's like a Photoshop thing, but I figured out how to do it consistently. So um, the intro is just going to keep changing and keep improving. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, root video is coming out. Check that out. And all you guys have a great day.